Hello. Hello, welcome back to this week's review episode. So this week, we are not exactly trying a VR um, experience per se, but we are going to test out this that might be actually interesting and it can be applied to a lot of other VR or metaverse, specifically metaverses experiences, uh, which this is one, this called Ready Player Me. Ready Player Me. What is Ready Player Me? So we've, I think probably some of you are familiar with Ready Player One, the movie itself. So from here, we can see this website. You can just go directly with for yourself for like that readyplayerme.me. And so this is a cross game avatar platform for the metaverse. So we have a lot of metaverses out there. And the idea is that you can bring your own avatar from one metaverse to another seamlessly. That's the idea. That's when the true metaverse is really um, uh, being experienced per se. Because right now, like everybody's, it's like different, different virtual worlds individually and they're not like really connected with each other. Like you have to create an avatar in Fortnite, have to create an avatar in Decentraland, you have to create uh, another avatar in Sansar or VRChat and whatnot. So how do we link all of this together. So Ready Player Me is a great start per se. So here uh, you have, you create your avatar based on the image that you choose and then you can customize them um, to a certain extent, but there's a lot of customization in itself and it has a lot of connection with a lot of existing uh, metaverse apps. So you can see here, basically you have like a passport, you have to you create your own look and whatnot. So you can just upload your photos up here and then just like this particular video shows, when you upload your photo, it will basically create an avatar for you per se. So it is based on exactly on you. And if you're not, uh, you're not a fan of that, you can still tweak it, um, like the jaw and one of the skin type, the hair and whatnot. So there's a lot of things that you can do as well. And it's uh, kind of like accessible uh, on a lot of other platforms also. Okay, let's just, let's just go through with it and then I'll show you like what's the, what's the cool thing about this. So we press enter hub. So this is what kind of like the first time. So right now I already have my own um, avatar. I tried this out. So let me just show you how it starts per se. So if I were to start off like this, so from the main page, so we create an avatar. So this is the kind of like the first time, right? So let's scale. Uh, masculine feminine you can even choose don't specify up to you masculine so you can take a photo so let's take a photo and uh, since i'm already on my ipad so let's let me just get a nice face here okay let's use that photo and accept so it's gonna take about like a few seconds just to generate a photo based on your face uh, but the accuracy is quite really well actually and the cool thing about this is that you can use this in multiple uh, applications such as VR chat um, uh, what was it again the nemesis me uh, spatial and horizons work workrooms if I so that apparently is my face um, the, the outfit was this kind of like just given to me randomly so I could still do some changes right now I can do customization that's quite Apparently that's how my face looks like nowadays. So I can make myself lighter or darker up to, that's up to my preference. Um, you can zoom in here. So, okay, quite close, close enough, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah, at least it got my facial hair correct. I, 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 I don't complain on that. I can change my eyes if I want. I can change my nose, my lips and whatnot. Uh, what else I can do? I can, oh, first and foremost, I want to change my, how, my clothing. I do not look like a biker gang or something like that. Um, okay, it takes a while to load. So there, it looks nice. Let's try something of a coat here. This is a lab coat. There's a lot of options actually. You can, there's a lot of like, from, from realistic one to really fantasy one, really like cyberpunk. This one is totally not me for obvious reasons. Uh, I can go formal, like put on the formal coat and whatnot. 
I can go like an RPG style kind of game, uh, futuristic or like a medieval type. Let's try this one, I think. This one looks interesting. Yeah, that's, that is kind of interesting, okay. Yeah, okay, I'll just stick with this for now. Uh, but the, the, it's 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 I, I like the way it, it it simplifies it some of uh, a lot of other applications they do they give you a lot more customizations like you can do the top you can do the bottom or shoes and whatnot but some of us might not be into that detail you know some of us may just in this case they just give you a whole outfit costume so you can just like choose directly like that so it's a lot easier and a lot quicker you can go through this process and even the hair uh just because i have short hair right now i'm uh, i'll just just choose this hair i guess uh, my previous avatar is was one with i my long hair so i guess i don't mind but I do can change the hair color. So so since I'm already here, because I'm in the metaverse, why not why not go go outside, go go out go a bit out there, right? I like purple hair there for some reason. I don't know why. Just close that, okay, whatever. Um beard, I think the it covers nicely the, the problem is people will like people like me would have like a long beard and very minimal mustache there's a there's very few and far wide of like existing applications that cater to this kind of facial hair so i'm okay with this this is kind of close enough so here we can change our eyes apparently so i can change oh that is really cool makes me looks like a cyborg or something like that um this one a lot more realistic um there's also like one like like a cat or something yeah that's a cat eye nope i don't this is kind of like pewdiepie or something <laughs> okay I'm, I'm just go with a white eye what is this okay that's really weird don't want to go there um you can change your brows you can change your glasses you can change all of this is free by the way right none of this is actually like hidden behind a paywall that's kind of, that's one another interesting thing about it so i can add like lipsticks i can add like facial pair that makes me look like post malone or something um even i'm i'm a fan of post malone i'm not a fan of their tattoos uh masks um hat oh i think i i want to add like uh, not like a facial hair but i wanted to okay no i want a hat yeah that's the one i want to want so i like like a bean beanie thing because i do wear like my my beanie what is this my beanie hair so normally if you see me out there i will be i'm usually like this right so close enough i don't like those kind of like beanie in real life because it's quite thick per se but yeah i think i'm good with this um i think I, there's nothing else so let's enter hub so let's prepare our avatar. So we're going to let it load for a while. Um, and then I'm going to show you like where we can actually try this out in an actual metaverse uh, experience. So this is basically how it looks like, I think. So it gives you like a ready player me ID and has like your name, members since April. Because right now we just, uh, I like the idea that it just asks allows you to create first you i haven't even created an account yet or whatnot that's why my name is anonymous i don't have a i don't have a name i don't I, i'm not linking anything as of yet so but if i do want it i can basically claim my avatar over here so then i can basically link into whatever i want and then so here this is basically you can see this is your avatar you can sign in there's like apps connected and whatnot down here we can see some of the examples experience that you can connect with which is like somnium space nemesis animes uh if you're doing like live stream you want to use avatars for your live stream you can use that meet in vr more like virtual space and whatnot so so if you claim avatar then you have this kind of like sign in so let's say so in this case i'm just gonna log into my own account because i already have so i'm gonna create my uh, i'm gonna log in my account 
so it's gonna do this it doesn't have a password per se but it's just gonna link to your email that you need to access to from your email per se so i'm gonna blur this part out so you don't see this obviously uh, i'm not gonna share my website my, my email per se so i'm gonna copy the it will give me a code and we are gonna paste that paste it paste paste what will be fine can i copy paste login and there you have it um this is my account so if you can see i have three avatars including this so as of now i do not see like a limit for now like how many avatars i can create as you can see this is the ready player me avatar i have two avatars and then down here is the nemesis avatar this is one metaverse experience that i have connected my ready player me avatar so this was my avatar let me show you how this works in the nemesis so the nemesis is so i think this segues to our next segment which is an introduction to the nemesis so what is the the, the nemesis the, the nemesis is basically a metaverse platform which is a virtual web uh virtual world which you can uh kind of like explore and socialize and you can buy plots of lands and customize and whatnot so i already connect that how do you connect that basically you have to kind of like log in from the nemesis and then uh, select the avatar and then you can switch to ready player me and then sign into your ready player me account from the nemesis account uh app, app, app experience so let's get app there so if you press that it's going to load up the the nemesis uh website so so apparently the nemesis is being regarded as an app uh from the ipad i'm, re I'm using my ipad right now to access this can i can i put this in front yeah i can put this so let's try to download the nemesis app and then we're going to see how it how my avatar looks like within the nemesis okay so we got the nemesis running on my ipad but apparently because it's an app it's not you know it's it's kind of like a lot on the vertical rather than the horizontal so even though my my, my, my ipad is kind of like in the horizontal i cannot it's not full screen per se even though i can do this and whatnot but this is what you can do uh, i think you have a better experience on a desktop uh, i was wanted to try this out on the desktop but uh, oh well so let me just show you how this looks like on the mobile first if i manage to record this on a desktop um, smoothly uh, then i'll show you how it looks like so this is how it looks like when we start the application so let's press play okay so i'm, I'm the ever bought your personal assistance tab to continue okay it's time to start moving run jump run. oh okay so from one angle I can walk I can run run oh if I move it even higher it will jump so uh, okay 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 so if I just want to move it very slowly I just move it don't not not that far okay hey, he stop hey, he stop so this is the nemesis i'm not exactly sure the name of it but it looks really interesting cool so choose you okay, i saw that okay so the, this is the metaverse of the nemesis play challenge have fun the real world but try to create something that's new and like make it push it push push the boundaries a bit further because you don't uh, you're not limited to any physics or the real world constraints of 
of why not uh, physics and uh, gravity and why not so um, this is where you can create really really we uh, interesting worlds but you want to kind of like ground it to reality for some for for a lot of users who are not kind of like gamers or like really into those science fiction stuff and uh, and use familiar things that they're familiar with like building shapes roads signs uh, build uh, shops and whatnot furnitures that they're familiar with so they don't feel really out of place that oh this is a game per se so you don't want to get that impression so right now we can access our social network i'm gonna just look into my google mm, yeah i got that and then so okay let's just download that Okay, so there we are as you can see okay, okay, whatever. because I already created my account this is linked to my account so as you can see now that's my avatar which I created in ready player one so look at it it's really looks really nice actually and when you it's already animated and you can do whatever stuff over here with your created avatar that's kind of like really cool rather than using the existing avatar that this game has provided such as like these guys like these guys kind of like looks very simplified and whatnot fits in the game but because you are using the ready player me avatar you can be sure that you will be yourself so I like this idea where we are in this whole different world of kind of like buildings, a lot of sci-fi and whatnot. But then there's, as you can see there, there you see this is kind of like something like an inception thingy, where you okay, you can see there's a lot of other people as well. Hello, um, what is this? Oh, there's like people are chatting over here. So this is kind of like a global chat. Um, what is this here? This is VR. That's my my account I have an inventory avatar companion and whatnot so I have nothing in that um, this is kind of like actions I guess oh somebody's asking to give me five okay um, how do I give you five <laughs> so we can do this kind of stuff and stuff and whatnot um, did he wanted to talk to me or something what if I press on him? I think you can chat with, with people. By, yeah, that's it. So we can chat, we can add them as friends or trade or play. Okay, okay, okay. So you can just basically like walk to walk up to anybody and just like talk to them. So you see here, uh, this kind of like inception thingy where the, the ground is actually on the wall. Um, can we, can we, oh my God, we can. <laughs> okay so now let me look back at the ground okay now we're on the we're on the side of the wall so this is this is what i'm looking for in a metaverse in a, in a virtual world when i go in the metaverse i want this challenge my thoughts and perception of my logic the challenge the norm that we are so used to we are, we know this is how it used to be even that for for gamers or non-gamers you are kind of like familiar with a with a certain trope or whatnot but once you're inside then you are your reality is like upside down now <laughs> so that's really interesting and really cool and i can jump right and i will not fall down to the floor reminds me of a, a song what was the song so by k click satu satu reality terbalik means basically like your reality is upside, upside down and within these worlds there's like challenges here um, you can just go here start challenge let's try one of these challenges so the challenge is you're supposed to kind of like collect things within a time frame so there's 10 things i need to collect there's three minutes of time so that, that those things so i can see I think I can see those icons. Oh, no, 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 that's not the thing. There it is. So that's, let me see. Okay, that's one. Okay, I think that's more. Oh, I need to control my, my control. Okay, that's three, 
four. Is there any more? Let's go back down to the ground. See if there's anything down here. I mean, I have to kind of like explore more. So let's explore. Oh, I, I think I saw one. There you are. That's number five. It takes a while to really learn, like get because I'm using uh, the mobile version. So because the the walk and the jump is the same button, which is kind of like just holding into it, which is interesting as well. Um, because it's kind of like eases up the control so that you don't have to kind of like look, find a button or find your fingers and whatnot. Uh, oh, there's stairs over there. Let's go over there. But it takes getting uh used to kind of like to differentiate um uh, your walking and your running and because uh there's no see uh the camera moves while you're moving as well so it's different from like any other like uh mobile rpgs and whatnot where you have one thumb to your left kind of like uh, control the character and then you have another con joystick on the right which controls the, uh, the, the the camera so you don't have that here I guess it makes it a lot easier but at the same time oh I think if I were to scroll on the top side of the screen it moves the camera on the lower side it moves the character okay 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 now we know so I got seven uh, got eight. I'm sorry, miss. Excuse me. So, but to jump, okay, that takes a bit of a learning curve. Um, okay, this is number nine. I got one more. Oh, one more, one more. So, I guess where is this one more? Let's see. I wonder if you guys can find it for me. I can't really see it. Oh, there you are. I see it. I see it. And. Yeah, so we got coins. We got this card. Okay, so let's 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 get back to reality and whatnot. Uh, okay, now we're in the actual gravity. <laughs> so what did I get actually? Do I get like collectibles here? Oh, uh, this is like in a previous in a previous challenge. I I I, I got this, but I'm not exactly sure how do I use it per se. I'll be honest. I have no idea how to, how to, how to, how to, what does this all this means to be honest. Um, specials. Uh, what is this? The NFT Turbo ticket. Enjoy. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna touch any of these. But yeah, that's uh, there. You have the 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 basic experience. Let's try to find other worlds to join in. I think I saw. I think you can press. Yeah, if you just press the end button at the top, we can go other different types. So I was at the Nemesis, I think, or was it Cloud City? So if I just press Nemesis, there's like different metaverse. There's games, events, trends. Um, go back, Cloud City. Okay, I was at Cloud City. Okay, now we know. So there's the one thing as well is this Genesis. Oh, sorry. Did it open up the a browser? Can I go there? White paper. So what is this? So this is the metaverse more or less. Can I not go there? Let's go the nemesis. Let's show the metaverse. Uh, villagers. Uh, explore. So we can see there's a lot of like existing uh, places here um the nemesis village so i was I there i guess let's just go to this boat club i think because like there was that the nemesis itself it opens up like plots of lands where you can go into and those are like people own land those lands i think and like you can bid you can buy from other people and whatnot uh, but that's kind of like that. That's the interesting part of it that I wanted to show you, but I'm not exactly sure why I could not access that from the iPad because it opens up a browser instead, and the browser doesn't support the thing. So, so what is this? So you can see this is basically how you are interacting with the world. 
um, this basically just selling NFTs and whatnot if you're into those things so you can link uh, your NFT wallet here and buy uh, companions buy stuff um, but yeah this is just one example of how um, you can utilize the Ready Player Me uh, avatar in one, exa one, one particular experience. Um, I guess that's it per se. I didn't. I, I did, was. I wanted to explore more here, but I think the experience is a lot better on the desktop version. So I think I'll have to make another version, another video on that. And yeah, I think that's for this session. Uh, this video is I'm, I'm gonna end this video here so thank you thank you guys for for for, for joining me for watching this please like com uh, subscribe and com comment um, I'm gonna have a lot more uh, updates I have a few episodes as well planning for uh, the next couple of weeks um, so yeah I'll see you in the next time I'll see you in the next one